up? Welcome to or back to my channel. Sorry I haven't been posting lately. And if you don't know me, my name is Jenny Mad Valerio. Um, I haven't been really posting because I just didn't feel like it. So yeah. <laughs> um, I've had this video idea for a long time now, since August. And I've never actually got to filming it. So... Here I am. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my school, like my bullying and school experience. So, let's get right into it. So, school was fun and great. I loved school from kindergarten through third grade. Those are the best grades ever. Like, I loved school, I was thriving. I loved it. I was like, oh my god, yeah. Okay. I loved school. And then in fourth grade, I lived in La Hanna, Colorado. I went to the intermediate school. And it was good for the first couple months. And then in the middle of the school year, I have started getting bullied. First, it started out because of my hair. I had green hair. And everybody made fun of me for it. It was short, green hair, and I loved it personally because my favorite color at the time was green. So, like, I loved it, and everybody made fun of me for it. And I've also got bullied for my sexuality, which was being gay. That, those things didn't really bother me. All I would do is at recess, I would sit in a corner by the field, by the fence, sit right there, and just think. Just sit there and just watch everybody and think. Some people would come up and ask me if I'm okay. I'd be like, yeah, I'm fine. Some people would invite me to hang out with them and I'd be like, I'm good. I just, I loved that time because it made me think like what I wanted to do. Like, should I tell an adult what I'm going through? Should I just keep it to myself? Should I change my hair? Should I act straight? Like, yeah. And then in fifth grade, I moved from the Hunter, Colorado to Rocky. Um, it was, it was hard. Um, I was really excited for a new school year because fourth grade, I just got so much bullying that I wanted to leave that school. So once I moved, I didn't realize how much I would miss that school. I left all my friends, everybody. And in Rocky, I was so excited to start a new year, start new, be somebody that nobody knows me of. So I was popular for the first two weeks because I was a new kid so everybody wanted to be my friend, everybody wanted to hang out with me. And then once everybody found out I was gay, I got really, really bullied. Instead of just like word bullying like hey fag or like all this words, it started to become physical. People would throw milk at me in the lunchroom, people would throw me into a bathroom. People would just be so mean to me, to where, like, I wanted to die. Where I got jumped in Rocky, because I was at the movies with my cousin, and then we were walking out, and two guys decided to come up and jump me. It wasn't like, I didn't have any bad, like, bruises or anything, it's just that it hurt so much, because I'm not used to getting jumped. Like, that was my first time ever getting jumped, so I was like, wow, what the hell? So I got jumped in Rocky. And I started cutting, cutting myself on my arms, on my legs. I started cutting a lot. Um, I have tried to kill myself plenty of times. I've tried to jump off roofs. I've tried to throw myself in front of cars. I took so much pills, but I never overdosed. I've tried to attempt suicide so much times. And then I got expelled from Rocky for bringing a blade to school because I was cutting myself, cutting myself in class. So I thought I was happier in Lahana. So I made my parents let me go back to school in Lahana. So we moved back to Lahana. Uh, I was in sixth grade. I started a school year in October. So I missed two months. And it was all good, same things, just getting bullied, but it wasn't like physical like in Rocky. Um, a lot of people were scared of me because 
at the time I fought a lot, so a lot of people thought I was a good fighter. So a lot of people were scared of me. But that didn't stop them from bullying me. Um, I got bullied a lot. And now, seventh grade, I do online school. I don't go to school no more. Well, public school, I still do school. Um, I still get bullied. I can't, I, I can't leave my house without feeling anxiety. Like, I just feel sick to my stomach. I just want to cry. I can't go anywhere without thinking, what if I get jumped? What if somebody runs up on me? What if I get shot or anything? Um, like, sorry if there's background noise. My parents are making food, so. But um, it's just, it's hard. I get cyberbullied till this day. I get bullied just like so much. Like people tell me to kill myself. People make fun of my weight saying that I'm fat. People, you can't do makeup. You shouldn't do makeup. You're a boy. You're gay. You're a faggot. You're stop growing out your hair. You're not a girl. All of this stuff. And I act happy. I smile. I'm all like, oh, okay, it doesn't phase me. Like I don't care. But um, deep down inside, I I actually do care and it hurts like it hurts a lot and I don't know I'm not trying to say this so you guys can feel bad for me I just want to let you guys know what I was going through what I went through and I'm just saying that if you guys watch my videos and if you guys don't know me because I know a lot of my friends are subscribed to me so a lot of my friends probably already know this but if a new person comes to my channel and you guys don't know me, or if I get big in the future, and one of my fans watch this video, I don't want you guys to go through what I went through. If you guys wanted, everybody wants to do homeschool, cause everybody's like, oh, you're at home, you get to do whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's fine. But I decided to do homeschool because bullying. Do not do homeschool because you just want to do it. Stay in school. Stay in public school. Because you're going to be missing out on everything. You're going to be missing out on proms, school dances. You're, it's going to be really boring. You're going to be missing your friends, school lunch, everything. I'm not saying it's the right decision, but it's also not the wrong decision. And if you get bullied or anything, speak up. Tell an adult. Tell a parent. Tell anybody. Because now in this generation, there's so much, so much kids who do suicide. And suicide is a choice. People are saying that they did it because they wanted attention. They cut themselves because they want attention. I personally don't believe that. I believe that if you cut yourself, you have a reason. I'm not saying that you should cut yourself. No, that's not what I'm saying. But please do not kill yourself. Do not even cut. Go to therapy. Go to a counselor. In, I'm pretty sure in your guys' schools, you guys have counselors. Go to there. Because I've been through a lot. I've lost my closest cousin. I've lost my sister. I've lost my closest grandpa. Right now, my mom is dealing with cancer. And people don't really know that. So they bully me because of me. And I don't want to be all like, oh, you shouldn't bully me because my mom has cancer. Because that's just using my mom. And I don't want to do that. So I keep those things to myself. Um... People don't know what's going on at home. And I'm not saying people should know your business, but it's just wrong. Nobody should bully anybody. Like, I know, I'm mean. I'm really, really mean. But I'm only mean because that's how people made me. I got bullied so much in my life that I'm just so cold hearted and I'm just so rude because people made me like that. And. I get bullied for my voice. I get bullied for the little things and the big things. I get bullied for everything. Some of it, I'm just all like, I brush it off and I'm like, okay, I don't care. Some of it really hurts me. Like, if people bully me about my weight, even my friends, my friends make jokes about my weight and I just laugh. I'm all like, oh, okay, funny. But it actually hurts me inside because I know I'm fat. I'm not saying that I'm the skinniest person. I'm not saying I'm the fattest person. But I know that I'm fat and a lot of people bully me for it and I have stopped eating because of it. I still eat now but I've used to stop eating because of it and I get bullied for my gap in my teeth and I hate that because I just hate my teeth. I hate my gap. 
I got bullied so much that it made me hate everything about myself. I just, I don't like myself. I do makeup. And I don't like doing makeup because I still think I look ugly. I'm like, I look ugly. I straighten my hair. I still think I look ugly. I try new clothes. I still think I look ugly. And I don't want another person to feel like that. Feel like what I feel like. So, if anything happens, speak to an adult. Speak to anybody. T vent to your friends. The people that you trust. They will listen. But if they don't listen, then you don't need those friends in your life. So, yeah. Right now, I do online school. And... I guess you can say I'm happier, but I'm also not the happiest. I'm still a little sad, but I fake a smile every here and then. I'll be all like, okay, I'm fine. And yeah, I don't self-harm anymore. Those are scars. Um, that's all I really wanted to say. Um, if you guys like this video, if this helped you, if this inspired you or anything, Give it a like, subscribe to me if you want. Uh, comment down what you go through, comment down what hurts you. And add me on my social medias, maybe we can become friends, we can talk. And that's all I really, really wanted to say is about my school experience. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.